Hey everyone, welcome back to part 3 of our real-time notification system tutorial. We are so excited because you are here and we are making awesome progress. In part 2, we built a comment form and sent data to our WebSocket server. Today, we will store those comments in a MySQL database and set up broadcasting. First we have described you MySQL table in which comment will be stored. First, let us talk about our comments table in the database. We have already created it, so we will just describe what is inside. The table is called comments, under this table, we will save all our comment data. So, our table has comment ID, comment subject, comment text, and comment status column. It is all set up in my testing database and this is perfect for saving comments now let us update our server.php file for save comments to this table so open server.php file in your code editor first we need a variable for the database so here we have to write private dollar pdo variable this creates a private variable called dollar pdo to hold our database connection. Now, go to the construct magic function. And inside, we have type dollar this, with pdo variable is equal to, new pdo method, with three parameter. In first parameter, we have to write, mysql double colon, with host is equal to local host, and database name is equal to testing. In second parameter, we have to write MySQL username root. And in third parameter, we have to write MySQL database password. This connects to our application with testing database on local host with username and password. You can change the password to yours if it is different. This uses PDO, a safe way to talk to MySQL database. Next, find the onMessage function, and it is empty right now. Inside this function, we have to type, $data variable is equal to, phpjson encode function, with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write, $message variable, and in second parameter, we have to write true. This takes the message, which it get from the WebSocket and turns it into an array, and then after we can use it. Then we have type, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, php is set function. And under this function, we have to write, dollar data type variable, and then after. We have to write, and operator, and after this, we have to write, dollar data type variable value is equal to new comment. So this condition will checks if the message has a type key and if it is new comment then it will execute if block of code. Now under this we have type dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with pdo object with prepare method. And under this, we have to write, insert into comments table, with three table column like, comment subject, comment text, and comment status. And in values, we have to write, two time question mark, and for third item, we have to write zero. So this prepares a command, to add a new row to our, comments, table, with the subject, comment, and status zero. Here the question marks are placeholders for safety. Now, we have type, dollar statement variable, with execute method, and under this, we have to write. In first parameter, we have to write, dollar data subject variable, and second parameter, we have to write, dollar data comment variable. This runs the insert command, and putting the subject, and comment from our message, into the table. 
Then, after, we type dollar this with broadcast notifications function. This calls a function we will make next for send updates to everyone. Now here, we have to define private function with name like broadcast notification. So this starts a private function to send notifications. Inside this function, we type for each loop and under condition, we have to write dollar this with clients variable as dollar client variable so this loops through all connected clients which stored in dollar clients variable under this function we will write code in four part which we will discuss in next part now we have saved the file and here we have told our server to save comments data so friends let us test this out to see it work or not so first we have to start WebSocket server, so we have goes to command prompt. And here, we have already goes into our working directory. Now we have run this PHP server.php file, which will start WebSocket server. Now in the browser, we have open at comment.php file. So here, we can see that notification form has been display on web page now we have fill subject and comment field with data after this we have click on post comment button so after click on button here we can see that comment data has been sent to websocket server which we can see in here under inspect element area and here we can see that comment added message has been pop up and form data has been clear now here in database in comment table we can see that new data has been inserted into comments table so under this part we have described our table and saved comment data into mysql table in next part we will show you how to send this comment to every connected user in real time. If you enjoyed this part, smash that like button and subscribe for the next part.